Hi, it's Justin Kanoya, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And this is a series of videos where I'm talking about HoneyBook, which is the online contract management slash project management system that I use to work with all of my DJ clients. So in this aspect of HoneyBook, what I'm focusing on is the initial contact that I have with clients and the communication that I go through back and forth before I ultimately create a proposal. I'm going to show you all of those things on screen and then put together a sample proposal and just show you how all that works. All right, so I wanted to show you a little bit about HoneyBook and the way I interact with clients initially. Anytime I'm getting started with someone, it's generally because they've requested a quote from my website. The nice thing about this is that this is completely customizable within HoneyBook. So right here in our tools, we have uh, the contact form. And you can see that what I've got here emulates what is right here. And I've gone ahead, of course, I've customized this a while back, but there are you know, a whole bunch of other options if you wanted to, from drop down lists to check boxes. So let's say, for instance, let's say you offer a photo booth as well as DJ services. So maybe you, know, you want to have those options to, to check. Um, maybe you want to add a project budget. So those are some things that you can always add and customize it to exactly the information that you need. Now once you've done all this, you get an embed code which then you can put into your website. So I won't go into sort of the coding and programming of all that, but you know this is you know for most uh, content management systems, it's really simple it's as simple as taking that embed code and pasting it uh, on your site and then, it would look like this. So I've gone ahead and submitted a demo event and when this information is filled out you hit send and there's a few things that happen simultaneously. The first is of course this is going to be sent to your email as a new inquiry. We can see right here we've got a new inquiry. I can open this inquiry up in HoneyBook and what it has already gone ahead and done is, is essentially created a new event in HoneyBook. By clicking on this projects tab, you have this dashboard of all of, well this is actually all of the events, and then there are different events that are in different stages. So for the purpose of this demo, we've got one inquiry which is defaulted to the person's name and it says project. So you can always change the name of the project. Generally, of course, it's going to be wedding or corporate event, holiday party, whatever. And so I'll click on this. This then opens a feed, uh, like a communications feed. So I can go in here and type an email. Essentially, this is, this is an email. But what's great is all of this interaction gets saved right within this window. It's kind of like a Facebook uh, comment string or, or, or a message board where you can see everything all in the same area. So, you know, there's pros and cons to it, but for the most part, I really enjoy it rather than like going into Gmail or some other separate email program and having to find different emails. What I generally do is, of course, you know, thank people for, for inquiring thank you for your inquiry. Um, there are a lot of like, there's default template emails, and then of course you can create your own. Um, and you know, even if you were to, this is just like a default one. Um, but you can of course go in and, and edit this as well. Editing this. There are saved email signatures that you can include. You can insert links. Um, you can even share vendor recommendations if you're connected with other vendors on HoneyBook. Um, so this is really a, a useful thing. So this just shows up in their email just as, norm as it normally would. Uh, and it's going to look really similar to this. And again, when they reply, I'll get that reply and it's going to be right here in my email. But I can also go back to this window and see the different strings of communication. So now let's say we're ready to, I, I have all the information that I need and I'm ready to create a quote or a proposal. And this is where we go to the files. And within HoneyBook, there are a few different file types. Uh, one being a brochure, and it's kind of like an electronic brochure of your services that you can create. 
Uh, we've got a proposal, questionnaire, invoice agreement, and a timeline. For this particular video in this demo, we're just going to be talking about the proposal, which is really acts as a quote. So it's defaults. You can customize all these things with defaults to this image of me, I guess, right now. We can always change that, kind of depending on the type of event, but let's keep it with that. Ahead of time, I have put in all these different packages, is what they call them, but they're really line items. And, you know, depending on what, what you've got, you can kind of just go in here and, and select the items that you want. And you can just go in and start populating all of this. As you're building this quote, it's defaulting into a two payment payment schedule. And that's just the way I have it. And I have it as retainer being due on uh, the day that the contract is signed. And then the due date right now is just the day of the event. The next step is the agreement itself. And then they can e-sign it. And I would countersign it says Justin here twice because I'm me and I'm also the demo event. And one of the really cool features uh, that, that I really like is this little feature called book in person. And what's really cool about this is that this enables you to meet with someone on site. And again, because everything's digital, um, we can open up their contract right there in front. And if they're ready to sign, uh, they can do it right here on the spot. And again, this is really if they happen to, you know, because most people aren't going to come to a meeting like with their own computer and everything. And so rather than having them go on my computer and log into their email so they can get it, that we can just do it this way. And it's super simple. And so that'll take them to uh, a payment process and a payment screen and everything is clean and, and super easy. So this is really just a overview of the initial contact that I make with clients. I didn't want to really dig in too far, but this is, you know, I just wanted to be a quick overview of how initial contact works and then creating a proposal. So that's a look at my initial contact with clients as well as putting their proposals together. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and share it with a friend that either might be a HoneyBook user or is looking for some type of online solution to help them with their con contract management and project management. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I will see you next time online.